I'm watching you. I can see you. This was my first acrylic ever um, this year. In May of 2007, I went and I bought some acrylics and I made this beautiful painting. It's called The Eye and um, that's supposed to be me but it didn't come out really good. Um, and then that's a firefly and um, these are all like very de um, not delicate but just like a lot of lines because I'm very intricate in my work and um, I have had several shows on my art and this is another one it's called Portrait of La Magritte because I was very inspired by René Magritte um, for many, many, many years. And I just, I wanted to do something like original. And this is a water, this is a watercolor. And it, I made it this year too. And the, just this side is and a, it's a real, from a real painting of René Magritte. And the this other side is a castle from Finland. I wanted to do two different buildings. And I wanted to do the black like Magritte. But I wanted to just, just do one side because I was inspired by his work. And I wanted to see if I could create something like what he did and um, it took me like two or three months to do because it's watercolor and it takes forever and then um, the background it it's different blues and grays and then I did all the birds and the smoke and the the for the first time I I've been painting doing paintings for since 1989 so I guess I've been been a painter for um, 18 years or more and I started doing paintings fashion paintings like fashion illustrations but I recently went back to my archives and um, a lot of my paintings had always like a surreal surreal art 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 like kind of like surreal but a very modern um, I didn't know what kind of a painter I was until somebody from New York or New Jersey wrote a story about me who happens to be a collector of fine art. And he said that I was a true moder modern artist of our generation. And um, so finally, I've, I've discovered that I am a modern artiste modern painter I guess you would call it and this is one of my oldest paintings that I did in 1990 and I remembered that I didn't know a lot about Salvador Dali and Erte but when I started painting I started looking through some old paintings and um I really love Dali and I just wanted to be, in, I was inspired by him and, and Erte, so I wanted to create a, my first watercolor, this was, was this one. I think this was my first watercolor and um, I, it took me a long time to do and it, and it has real paint and then it has watercolor paint and acrylic and I, wanted to do like snakes but I was very lazy or I was I didn't have that kind of mentality back then to create a snake so I just it just came out like this and um I I love it it's one of my favorite paintings that I ever that I have ever made But 
this one, um, my latest paintings that I'm doing now are in oils. And I'm very excited because the, my latest painting is called The Height of Fashion. And I got three models walking on the, on the Mojave Desert wearing mink, velvet, and fur. And their outfits are basically, um, you know, they're, they're melting. And it's a long process because I'm very detailed, like um, Salvador Dali. It, uh, I use really, really, really tiny brushes. And so, but this one is um, my first painting that I ever done without drawing anything in the paper. So everybody knows, every painter, everybody painter knows that, you know, I'm not... Jackson Pollock. I'm not doing, and I'm not a Van Gogh either. Um, Jackson Pollock splattered paint, and Van Gogh did dots and brushes and kind of Pizarro, Camille Pizarro, and a lot of the painters from the 1800s. But he, I mean, I mean me, my my painting, my latest painting. Well, this one, it's the first painting that I have ever done with, without drawing, anything. just putting the brush on the water and paint, and I started creating the body, and this is what came out, and I'm very, being very honest, it's, it's my only painting that I ever done, no, it's my, my first painting that I did, and then, that was in the spring, and then in May, when I, I did this, this was also my first acrylic, but it was also without no outline. So you won't be able to see any pencil markings because it was straight from watercolor. And also with my oil paintings, I don't, I, I, when I started doing oil paintings now, I'm not doing anything with pencil. I'm not marking anything. So... It is very hard to do these kind of paintings because now everything that I'm doing is coming out of my head straight onto the canvas. And before, it was hard for me to sketch something and then paint over it. Now it's a little bit more harder, but my I'm using my, my brain um, to create something innovative and new that I have could never think that I would be able to be accomplish. And I'm doing what I really love is painting. And anyways, for my next video, um, I will talk more deep about my pen and inks and watercolors that I have been doing for 17 years and I yet to be discovered as an artiste.